<laughs> What's that I hear stirring? A mouse. I was using my laptop. David, what are you doing here? Up to a little holiday mischief, eh? That could get a fellow on Santa's naughty list, you know. <laughs> I'm doing a little piece I like to call North Pole Confidential, and I wondered if you could answer a few of my questions. I was expecting milk and cookies. The family that lives here always leaves me those good Toll House cookies every year. Santa likes his cookies. <laughs> I'm sorry, Santa. No cookies. I wanted to ask about some troubling reports coming out of the North Pole. If you're referring to the stories about Dasher and Dancer being more than roommates, I tell you they're all lies. And the rumors that Rudolph shot a guy in Atlantic City because he tried to join in a reindeer game, I think it was Texas Hold'em, are all the work of rogue elves. Rogue elves? What are they? They're disgruntled troublemakers led by Hermie the Elf. Ever since he starred in that 60s animated special, he's been impossible to work with. Hermie and the other rogue elves are constantly pressuring me for a 40-hour work week, profit sharing, and less beatings. Beatings? Oops, I meant to say less beans. Yes, nothing worse at Christmas time than a flatulent elf. Anyway, <laughs> I think I'd better go. Got a lot of toys to deliver, you know. I hate to tell you this, Santa, but the place is wide for sound and video. So you're on a candid camera, so to speak. And it may be your interest to stay a little longer. <laughs> Would you care for some figgy pudding? Yuck. No thank you. I don't blame you. Got tons of the stuff in warehouses back at the pole. It's like fruitcake. You can't give it away. <laughs> Do you ever bring special guests up to the North Pole? Well, maybe an occasional adorable orphan to share the magic of Christmas with. <laughs> Then how do you explain bringing Jane Mansfield up for a private performance of Santa Baby while the missus was away visiting her sister? Santa is a great patron of the arts. Plus, uh, Jane had some great cookies. <laughs> um, I mean, ho ho ho. David, shouldn't you be home hanging your stocking by the chimney with care? You should at least be sleeping with visions of sugar plums dancing in your head. I've got another question, Santa. I see a lump of coal the size of Schenectady in your future, David. Then I won't have to worry about winter heating bills then, will I? Can certain wealthy and influential people buy their way off Santa's naughty list? Outrageous! No one can bribe his way off the naughty list. He can't scare me. Back to my question. There's no bribes involved. How do you explain Donald Trump and Martha Stewart getting on Santa's nice list? It is very simple. The Trumpster, out of the goodness of his heart, gave Santa and the missus matching Gulfstream jets to aid in bringing joy to children everywhere, especially the ones living in Acapulco. That sounds like behavior worthy of the nice list to me. <laughs> it's all about cookies with you, isn't it? Look what I found in Santa's bag, an Xbox 360 with a copy of Guitar Hero World Tour, and it has your name on it. <laughs> it sounds like a bribe to me. David, bribe is such an ugly word. Wait a minute, what's this? An iPhone with Mariah Carey's unlisted phone number already programmed in it. <laughs> wow, I mean, I can't be bought. Unlisted number, eh? No. I can't be bought. Now I remember. You're still mad because I didn't bring you a pony when you were ten years old, aren't you? <laughs> I was extra nice that year, and I cleared out a space in the garage right next to Dan Studebaker to use as a corral. I even got a lasso and a cowboy hat. Do you know how hard it is to wrap a pony? And Santa has a bad back from eating too many cookies, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I mean, I'm... <laughs> well, I still have to finish this interview. Of course, of course, you could do that, but that would delay me from delivering a brand new pony to a very special little David. <laughs> really? Yes, and if you end this interview and give Santa any pesky old tapes, you can rush home to find Mariah Carey admiring your new pony. Ho ho ho! It's... it's a Christmas miracle! Here's all the tapes. I can't keep Mariah and my new pony waiting. Good day, Santa. Merry Christmas and don't forget the cookies! 
Santa can't get enough cookies. <laughs> I mean, oh, oh, oh. Stop dreaming how you're gonna roll when you get to the top. Mmm, yeah, nothing's gonna stop you. Had enough working for the man. You've got a master plan for how it's gonna be. Ah, uh, when you make the scene. It's all about building a dream. If you know what I mean. Chica